Hey guys, welcome back to another series. I'm Marcus. So in this series, I'm going to release about 30 videos in order to show you how to build a mobile app and all the way from uh, scratch, including setting up the environment, uh, installing the Kiwi packages, and then um, setting up your uh, laptop, and then start writing code from scratch, and then building widgets, uh, all to the point of building up a full app like this, including the front end and back end. And I will also show you how to build an app into the APK and then uh, so that after that you can actually upload to the Google Play Store. Well, actually, and uh, as, of, as of today, as I'm recording this video, and this app is actually already available uh, on my phone and even on the Google Play Store. So you can actually go to Google Play Store and search for my XG Transport, download this app into your phone. You can see my name, Marcus Chong, as a developer of this app. And then you can install it on your phone, uh, play around with it. And if you like the app, well, this is the great video series for you because I'm going to show you how I built this app all the way from scratch until I can upload it to the Google Play Store. I won't miss out every single detail to you because I want to show you really how to you how do you really uh, can learn from this video in order to build an app for yourself. Well, um, I'm not going to show you how I type the code uh, in these study videos. I'm going to pre-prepare all the code in my website, so uh, you will get all the code in my website. Uh, probably one tutorial will have one post, and then you can just copy and uh, paste all the code from there. But I want to really focus on explaining uh, the functions and the theory behind each line of code so that you will learn about how to really build an app with GB and Python. And coming back to the app, and here I want to sh uh, show you what you can learn from this app because there are really some really cool features in Kiwi in which you can build an app, uh, wonderful app really fast. So I myself, I spent around three months in order to learn about Kiwi because uh, it's also something new for me and I learned, I learned a lot, lot of things uh, throughout the way. Uh, I spent a lot of time of debugging because in the end, uh, even though it's written in Python, but a lot of things, uh, especially the front end, are just not understandable by uh, me. And actually, I'm not a mobile developer. So uh, I pick up the knowledge along the way. So I'm sure you can do that as well. So. And if you look at this app, we are actually mainly focusing on tracking the public transport in Singapore. And there are so many different types of public transport in Singapore, including uh, buses, MRT. And then you can even uh, track the traffic conditions, including the traffic cameras, uh, parking, taxi location, and so on. So in basically this app, the home page will be showing you the map of Singapore. And if you look at this search button, you can basically uh, go to the area of the Singapore they want to look at. Uh, this is just a temporary uh, idea for the home page, but uh, I think I would like to upgrade it to something like uh, Google Map in which you can uh, type in lo your location and your starting point so that it will show you uh, what will be the shortest route or public transport that you can take uh, in order to reach your destination. So uh, there will be something I want to upgrade in the future. But in this uh, app, I just want to focus on showing you how to build, do, build those uh, cool widgets uh, in which you can use it in any kind of app that you want to do in the future. So the key point is really to show you and, and let you learn about how to make use of those uh, cool stuff in Kiwi. So uh, in the taxi uh, page, you can basically see all the taxi stand nearby you and then you can click into it and then it will show you a dialogue to see the details of the taxi stand and then we have an image button and then in the bus page uh, you can see all the bus stops nearby and this is the backdrop uh, layout in which we will show you how to do it and if you close this you can show all the bus stops nearby click into it and it will show you a dialogue of the details of the bus stop 
So um, and then we have a, a actually a blinker GPS blinker. Uh, it actually works uh, well on the phone in the smaller buttons uh, because it will work with the GPS on your phone. So I begin to explain that in more detail as I go through the tutorial. So uh, other than that, you will have a list uh, widget in which uh, you can scroll through it. Uh, this is a scroll view, and then when you look at this uh, every two lines item list you will see that you will have a bus stop code bus stop description and all the bus services that are available in that particular bus stop and you click into it um, this is really cool stuff on this uh, app because it will show you uh, in real time what will be the bus arriving time uh, next bus next next bus next 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 bus and then when, what type of bus is it? is it a single deck bus or is it a double deck bus uh, wheelchair accessible uh, how, what would be the um, load condition of the bus is it available standing available or limited standing so you can even uh, create this uh, kind of uh, label uh, or um, image buttons and then you can even add this bus into your favorite so that uh, you can uh, just go to the favorite page to look at the bus that you want to look at every day and uh, this uh, page is actually updating in real time uh, every one minute so I'm not actually calling this uh, page to update every few seconds because uh, um, of the requirements of the data provider so you can see as I explain through this page is actually changing uh, to show um, the updated uh, bus over time every single minute so if you click into it it will be able to show you the route of that bus uh, so it will show you the starting point of the bus until the end point of the bus yeah so this is also a back, backdrop layout and then it, it will show you uh, it will show you the route of the bus uh, on the map itself so this um, white button are the bus stop which the bus is going to reach and then this black button are actually a bus stop that the bus hatch go through and then uh, yeah so if you get into this button you can even see the details of the bus stop what will be the dark, uh, bus stop uh, code bus stop description and then uh, the first bus on weekday weekday the last bus on weekday all the details like this so after that, if you click into this bus stop, it will show you all the bus services that are available on that bus stop. So there is also a bus service page in which it will show you all the bus services nearby you. So you can actually look at uh, what are the bus uh, that is around you and then you can see the list as well. And then we will click into it. It will show you the route of that particular bus. Did I click it? Probably not, yeah. So if you click into it, it will show you the route of this bus uh, one, two, three. And what will be the starting bus stop and the ending bus stop. So you can see it's loading a little bit slow on my uh, uh, laptop, but then when it works on your phone, it works a lot better. I will also show you how to improve the performance of the app by the end of the tutorial. Don't worry about that. So when you're back, we also have MRT and MRT page in which you can see uh, the MRT and MRT nearby you and then the location of the MRT description and so on. Train service alert, uh, this is just an example. Uh, which train has, is having fault, for example, no train service bef between Harbour Front and Dobico, blah, blah, blah. Train map, I will also show you how to create a image like this in which you can zoom in and zoom out to see the whole map in Singapore whole train map in Singapore yeah so after that you will you can also create uh, another another page like this in which you can show you a list like this uh, what time uh, uh, what what are the uh, train fare for different category of people for the senior citizen uh, student card workfare and so on so this is called tab widget i will also show you how to do this and then for the traffic yeah 
So you can actually look at the traffic condition. Uh, this is a real time traffic condition. And you can see uh, what with the road work that being carried out at which. So heavy traffic, accidents, the details of the accidents and so on. Road work. So I will show you a data table like this. Um, so this data table, uh, normally the, uh, they use it on window, but then you can also actually use it on your mobile phone uh, to display a lot of data. So traffic images, uh, we can connect to the CCTV or traffic camera around Singapore to actually look at the traffic condition. Very cool, right? So yeah, this is the yeah one of the features that I think that is very really cool, and we can also look at all the traffic cameras. It uh, depends on the location they want to look at, and uh, finally we have road opening. So yeah, this road opening actually loading a little bit slow because there are actually a lot of data in in this uh, road opening uh, API. So yeah, you see. Is taking a little bit of time, but this one I want to show you. Uh, I I'm going to show you how to improve performance on this ladder, but then uh, this is actually expansion panel, so I will also show you how to do this. And then last but not least, we have the car park. Uh, different type of car park for different vehicles, and then the details of the car park, and bicycle parking. Yeah. But the, where is the location? Where is the location of the bicycle parking that is nearby you? And then back and then yeah here you can put your nice picture as a profile picture if you click into it it's actually a farm browser or manager that can browse into your phone to uh, choose the image that you want to put so in this case I choose my profile picture and then you can actually change the theme of the app so in this case for example I can change to purple color or red color I can change the style to black or white accent is just like some small details of, of the app and after that you can go to the favorite page to look at um, the buses which you have uh, clicked the star button just now to uh, so every time you can just come to this uh, favorite page to look at the, your favorite buses so yeah and this will be the buses that you uh, will be taking uh, very often. So you just, you don't have to every time go to the bus stop page to look for the bus that you want to look at. You can just come to this favorite page to look at these buses. Cool, right? So back. And um, if you really want to learn about how to build this app uh, all the way from scratch, uh, remember to smash the like button and the subscribe button and i will be preparing the videos uh, after this and then uh, i will be taking some time to make this video but don't worry we'll be releasing really soon and i'm really exciting about this and i hope you are very exciting about this also and yeah if you uh, want to learn about this stay tuned to this channel and i hope to see you in the next video